Holy. There we go. Boom, just it. Oh yeah. And all of a sudden, five minutes, you got two fish. We've been waiting very patiently all winter for this day. It is now the middle of February and we finally have enough ice to go out for camp. Careful. There you go. We gotta get out in the ice and get everything set up because we have a major snowstorm incoming. It's supposed to hit around noon today, so we got a couple hours. Gotta get everything set up before the snowstorm hits. Well, I can honestly say that's never happened. The ratchet strap got stuck in my, got stuck in this glove and the sled had so much momentum that I couldn't stop it. And it, <laughs> it launched me. I need brakes on that thing. <laughs> that was ridiculous. We also managed to bust our, our rope in half. All right, well, we're on the ice. The rest of our hike out should be a little less eventful than uh, coming down that hill. All right, so we have about seven inches of ice. It's not a lot. I mean, it's enough to feel safe on. It's enough to snowmobile on. It's definitely enough to ice camp on. It's just crazy that typically this time of year we'd have like 20 inches, you know? We're not even at half of what we usually have. It's just been that kind of that kind of winter. We'll get our tip up set up first and uh, we'll get camp set up. So we really just have a pretty basic setup here. If you watched my uh, videos from Northern Manitoba, we were using Cisco's the size of my forearm. We were trying to catch lake trout that would be this big. That's not really the case today. Um, we're gonna be using these really tiny shiners and hopefully catching a fish. The fish will probably be just slightly bigger than the bait that we were using. So we just use our sonar to make sure our minnow's at the bottom. And you'll see this line there is our weights and that little faint line below it is, uh, is the minnow. Cleared a spot already with two holes, so we're just gonna drag it on over and we'll get everything all set up. First time camping out in the 650. So we're just trying to figure out the best way to do it. Where to put the cot, where should the ice fishing holes be, and, and just kind of what the best way to get set up is. Do some matches to to kind of warm it up but no, we should be good now though
Now that we're all set up, we can actually prioritize catching dinner. Oh. So we opted to put the cots there. Right now there's just the one set up, but the other one will just kind of stick right off the side of it. We got our fishing holes right in the middle, heater slash, I guess a cooking area, and then just uh, storage over here. And just out here, you can see our tip up. First fish of the day came in, screamed up about 50 feet on the sonar, but didn't bite. Sure got the heart pumping though. <laughs> well, still no fish to show, but we've had four fish come in and chase baits in the last like 20 minutes. So it seems like things might be heating up here. Also, the freaking snowstorm has started. It is calming down out there. <laughs> It's not really cold today, but that wind, that wind is pretty nasty. Got our second line just out that side. It's in 51 feet of water. I got a good feeling about this spot. I think, uh, I think we'll get one. Mm. Got a nice warm, um, what is this, a cheddar broccoli soup from home? Mm. We're absolutely getting pounded by snow right now. We just took a quick look at the radar. That's gonna continue to get worse for the next like three, four hours. We're gonna be buried in this, in this snow hut. I don't know how we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> Oh, that's formed around the, the front of the hut. All the way around, that's from the wind. Pretty cool. Nice. <laughs> Slow down, buddy. You're crazy. So we keep having these fish come right up to the minnow and we just haven't caught any. So I'm really starting to think that all these trout have got to be vegan. Oh. This one's not a vegan. Move, Chester. We got something that's not very big. Chester, out of the way. Sit. Don't know what it's going to be. Probably small trout. Come on up. Oh, boy. Move, Chester. Oh yeah. I was just just saying how um, these fish were coming right up to the minnow and finally we got this perfect eater. It's not a giant by any means, but this is this is almost the perfect size to, to keep for dinner. Chester likes to like the fish. We we're just resetting our minnow. I think uh, there's still fish down there on the bottom, so so maybe we'll catch another one. There we go, look at that, right away. Another Laker? Oh, whitey this time. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, Chester. <laughs> now we have options. This is called the white fish. And these guys are actually quite good to eat. Hey, what do you think, do you want to eat this guy? Well, I feel much better now. We got uh, we got the pressure of catching dinner out of the way. All in about five minutes too, which is just, you know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. You fish for five hours and catch nothing. 
And all of a sudden, five minutes, you got two fish. You got another fish on the on the minnow again. Watch out, another whitey. Watch out. Here he goes. Do you want to go for a walk? A lot of snow. There's the ice. Are you taking an ice dump? You are. The whole purpose. Oh, Jesus, buddy. The whole purpose of this walk was to bring him to the forest so we could do that. So he does poo on the ice. <laughs> That's good to know. So just a second ago, there was a giant ice craft that, that ripped right by us and it sent water rushing out of the, the ice holes and there's literally water, like a couple of centimeters of water coating the, the floor of the tent. It makes me really nervous about walking back tomorrow if water came up through all the cracks, which I think it probably did. It'd probably be an inch or two under the snow, just pure slush, which is gonna make walking out of here almost impossible. Look at the difference in color. This is the lake trout. This is the whitefish. So vibrant. So we're going to be doing uh, a honey glaze on both of these fillets. The idea was a, a honey glaze lake trout, but since we caught a whitefish, I mean, might as well compare the two. This is sausage. This was backup. And we're going to be having it with uh, ganochi. Yoki, yeah, it's gonna be great. Next, we'll make our glaze. This is soy sauce, three ish tablespoons of honey. We have a lemon, the garlic we chopped up. We have some cornstarch that we'll combine with water just to thicken it up at the end, but that yeah, should be good. My olive oil is literally always frozen. Canada problems. Okay, buddy. Broke the white fish. <laughs> okay. You guys are going to be all glazed up too. cooked uh, one unseasoned filet for Chester for being such a good boy today. Oh shit. Well, I guess we'll start with the lake trout. A little salty. A little salty and I think I cooked the crap out of the fish. The glaze is good though. You want more? 
it's tough. I think the whitefish is tastier. Now, granted, it's not the best lake trout I've ever cooked. I've done much better um, than this, but damn, that whitefish is really tasty, though. Exhausted. Also feel like it's about time for a soda pop. <sighs> Long overdue if you ask me. Cheers. <sighs> well, we still have our minnow in. It's uh, just about time for some burbot action to happen. I don't know if we're going to stay awake for too much of it, but um, it'd be nice to catch one or two. Get all cozy. We gotta figure out how to get Chester over somehow. Can you hear the puddle? It's gotten worse. Alright, well, we're just about ready for bed. If, in case anyone's wondering, it's about, well, it says it's 10 degrees in here, which is uh, 51 Fahrenheit. But just in case, we are sleeping with a carbon monoxide monitor. We're going to keep this right beside the cot. Good night, everybody. It's a good thing we brought two cots, eh, hey, buddy? <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Rough sleep. At one point, um, at one point, uh, the propane just turned off. I don't know why. I was able to get it back going, and, and it's still on now, which is good. <laughs> just a lot of wind noise. It was, um, it was really windy last night. Big stretch. Big stretch. <laughs> Definitely got a ton of snow. Not gonna make our walk it any easier, that's for sure. No burger last night, but we didn't really fish too much after dinner. It would be great to catch a trout this morning. Well, it's just about that time that Chester starts to get a little antsy um, and annoying. So I think it's time to start thinking about packing up. We've been pulling the first load for probably 10 minutes. That's how far we've gotten. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I actually had to drop off the bucket, the bin. I don't even have that much weight in the sled. There's just so much resistance from the, the wet snow and the slush. So I'm hoping if I can break a trail, it'll freeze by the time I come back from an X trip and it will be easier pulling, but not good. All right, well, it was only like an hour 45 round trip, but we got the first load um, out of here. It's in the truck. Also got Chester in there. I don't want to overdo it on his back leg, but we got one more load to go. Um, I got to break this tent down and uh, get on out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.